new multi-extruder uh, setup in Kirimoto. And in order to do that, we're going to need to create a part with multiple pieces um, that are all sort of spatially aligned. And I've done that in on shape here. Uh, each of these is an individual part over here on the left-hand side. And so the first thing I need to do is export them. Um, now, whether I export them individually or together, the STL will contain their spatial offsets. However, it's a lot easier if I just do this as a group of files, make sure they're exported individually. That'll uh, give me this STL, this zip download over here. And I'm going to go over to my file list and expand them. And now uh, I can, let me clear the bed here. I can bring them in by dragging and dropping them like this. The new option is it's going to ask you whether or not you want to group the files and we're going to say, okay, let's group those files. Um, now you can see that each of these parts is individual. You can look at it this way. Um, we're going to have to create a device that can support um, multiple extruders. And so we're going to go into whatever device we have. We're going to clone it. Uh, we'll call this multi. And under the extruder option here, which uh, you have to enable export mode to see, <clears throat> we're going to um, add a couple more extruders. So you'll see this is three of three and make sure that the script for selecting the extruder is correct. And if you need to set offsets for your, um, your different extruders, go ahead and set them here uh, and then save and close. You'll see that your device is uh, set over here. Um, now a new option at the bottom is you'll see an extruder uh, configuration. And selecting each of these individually is gonna be tedious. So I'm just gonna select all of them, set them to one, then select the outside and set it back to zero. And I'm going to select the inner logo and select it to two. There, we have um, a part with three, you know, three different extruder configurations for the, the with the G codes output. Now, uh, when you slice it, you can't really see a huge difference um, other than the outlines here are gonna be slightly different. Um, you will know, notice a difference when you go to export your print. And so what happens here is purge blocks are created for each of the different extruders so that between the layers or between the colors, it's going to go and, and purge the colors over here. And that's how you really know you're working in multi-extruder mode because it doesn't do that if you only have a single extruder. And of course, you can just sort of download your G-code like that and um, you're, you're off, off to go. Now, um, one thing we don't often cover is that Kirimoto has a G-code importer. So if I take that and drag it back onto the bed, it'll uh, render the G-code <clears throat> and we'll see everything in, in, in its place. Now, one interesting thing is that we have um, set up devices that have extruder offsets. And so normally, if I'm using a device that doesn't have more extruders, only has one extruder, and I bring this file in, you'll notice that things are out of place. You'll see this E is over off here and these different things are, these blocks are too far apart. It's basically not able to compensate for the extruder offsets. So if I go back to the proper device and choose one that has multiple extruders and then drag it back on, it can be rendered properly. That's a sort of a sophisticated thing, um, but relatively important to understand that it is generating the right G code output with offsets. So there you have it. Um, I hope that is super useful for your endeavors. And please, of course, report any bugs that you find along the way. Uh, this was a, a lot of code changed in this last update. So um, it's entirely likely that new bugs were introduced. Um, uh, thanks for your time and please enjoy.